I'm anxious to taste and see and compare. Well, we, we should start off with lagers because that's okay. what most people so are what's familiar a lager? with. A lager is a beer that's fermented cold and it's a long, cold fermentation. And this is yours. And this is mine. Oh, this good. is my baby. Oh, good. This is one of the beers. Should I open it? For yeah, you? Okay. absolutely. Beer is never not to be opened. Okay. <laughs> this is the type of beer that you used to have in New York before Prohibition. And people say, oh, you're making beer in Brooklyn. That's very strange. But in fact, before Prohibition, about the turn of the century, there were 48 breweries in Brooklyn. It was one of the great brewing cities of the world. My father worked for Schaefer Beer. Really? He did. The old Schaefer Brewery is right near my brewery, in fact, in Williamsburg. And oh, we it use is? the same yeast strain. Oh, you do? Oh, how great. And the lager yeast ferments cold. And, what and it a gives you a beautiful color yeah. this is. And you see it's sort of an amber. We have caramelized malts in here. These are malts that have been caramelized. They give you caramel flavors. And that it makes a very nice head of nice, foam here. Nice head of foam. That's yeah. what you're looking for. And also, the caramel flavors make it great for caramelized flavor in food. So when you go and make verst or something like that, or chicken, and it has caramelized skin. Do I take a sip? Absolutely. Mm, really good. That's yeah. your beer. Yeah, very straightforward flavors from lager. You taste malt, you taste hops. Not very much fruit or anything else, but we'll taste some other beers that have some fruit. And we always flavors. hear about hops. And those are hops. Guess what? Garrett brought some hops with him today. And so hops those... hops will give you the bitterness in beer. And you need some bitterness in the beer so it's because... it's like, like a herb that they're exactly. adding? Okay. Exactly. It's a spice. Well, what do you do with this? Basically, what you make beer from, actually, we have both major ingredients here. This is malt, mm -hmm. and this is hops. And we boil it in the kettle. The hops are added to give you the bitterness and some flavors, and you add yeast, and a few weeks later, depending on what kind of beer you're making, voila, you have beer. Hmm. Now, where is this from? Oh, that this is from Germany. That's one of the original styles of lager. This is Oktoberfest ah, beer. Ah, And when you, when you see the Oktoberfest in Germany, this is what those millions of people there are drinking. So this is Oktoberfest beer. Oktoberfest beer. You know, in 1810, King Ludwig of Bavaria went to marry his sweetheart, Queen Theresia, and they had a massive party. And they invited everybody in the whole town of Munich. And they had such a great time that in subsequent and years, they decided too, to do I it again. Did I too much foam there? Uh, it'll settle down. It'll be fine. And uh, just means that you get a beer mustache, which, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's not a, not a thing I generally have. It'll be better than you since you already have yeah, a mustache. Yeah, exactly. I don't need one of those. <laughs> not a thing that. But, uh, uh, so, Paul Honor. And Paul Honor. Originally, also, you know, monks. Paulist monks uh, started this brewery. And the Oktoberfest celebration, they had such a good time that they decided to do it every year, and now this is the special beer that they make mm, for Oktoberfest. Very smooth. Very smooth. And it all started, actually, with this beer, which is called Pilsner Urkel, which means, Urkel means the original source. And this was the original Pilsner. And Pilsner basically means beer from Pilsen. And that's from Germany? That's from Czechoslovakia. Oh, that's what I thought. You know, Czech I thought Bohemia. It was. Pilsner or Quell. We drank that a lot. Yeah, if you, if, you, if you go to Prague, you'll see this everywhere, and it's brewed not far away in Pilsen. And one of the things that made this beer famous is that when this beer first came out, beer was brown, muddy, and dark, and people drank it out of steins. But around 1840, they discovered a few things. They discovered the lager, the cold fermenting lager yeast dropped straight to the bottom of the vessel and left you clear beer. Mm. They managed to make a really pale malt, so you had a golden beer. And then they invented mechanized glass making. Now your guess average which beer I like so far the best. I can't guess yet. Brooklyn but, Brewery. Uh, I knew. I, I knew I loved you so far. <laughs> and I'm not lying. That's the, definitely. What so I like. you can see all these are really straightforward, and these are all lagers. They have the sort of bready flavor in the background. Mm, it's but really move, good. Thanks. But let's move on to the else. And this, as you can see, actually has a cork in place. This looks French. It is actually oh, it's Belgium. Belgium. Oh, it's Belgium. That's right. Belgium is a mm. big beer country. It's a small country, but big for beer. Yep, pops just like champagne. Uses sort of champagne sort of, uh, sort of bottles, etc. This is called Chimay. And it was actually Benjamin Franklin who said that beer is our best proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. <laughs> and the monks there literally, said a lot of things. You know, literally brew beer. And they brew beer, they make cheese, and it's part of their whole thing of self-sufficiency. They want to make everything for themselves now, and Chimay bring things in from the land. Now, likes to serve it in these big goblets? Yes. Every Belgian brewery has their own glass, and they insist you must serve it in that oh, glass. I like that. I no think, other glass will do. I think that's a nice do. idea. That is a very nice idea. Hmm. And a this is tipsy here. Yeah, this is this beer is a little <laughs> bit strong. It's very nice with uh, you know with this is a, an aged Gouda uh -huh. that we have here. It's very nice with cheese, and they make cheeses as well. You know, very full-bodied and spicy, and fruity. 
Mm, extremely flavorful. Extremely. Yeah, and you can definitely see that going with, uh, with a lot of the sausages mm -hmm. you know, that uh, you might also enjoy. And so this is very popular in Belgium. Now, if you're going to Germany, we're just talking about the Weiss first. This is Weiss beer, and this is what you have with Weiss first. And Weiss means white, though you'll see the beer isn't actually white. It's a beer made from wheat. It has yeast still in suspension. Oh, rather than barley. Rather than barley. Oh, it's okay. half barley and half oh. wheat. A little bit of foam. Mm. And that is why the glass is so tall. Oh, you know, this beer is oh. always very foamy, so they have a foot-tall glass. Oh. And when this settles out, you'll have a head on it They're about three inches. just a tiny, inches. tiny little bit. Tiny, tiny little bit. Okay, that's enough. And if you smell it, you have an aroma of bananas. A little bit of banana, a little bit of clove. A little bit of bubble gum. Do they put that in there? No, it's actually the special <laughs> yeast that makes those flavors and aromas. And, you know, it's really versatile for that reason. It just goes with so many different foods. Very light, mm, very good, spritzy. Actually. And, and last, last, last but not least, is another one of mine. This is called Brooklyn Black Chocolate Stout. It's one of our most famous beers. And as you can see, it's quite dark. Gosh, it looks like coffee liqueur. And it's funny you should say that because it has coffee-like flavors and also dark chocolate flavor, almost so like... you can't really drink a lot of this. Mm, not a lot, no. Yeah. This is actually, a lot of beers, they, they look dark, people think that they're strong. Often that's not true. Guinness, for example, is not strong. This is strong. This is actually a style of beer originally made for Catherine the Great. And she had stout beer in England and she wanted some at the Winter Palace and she said, send me some. So they made a really strong version that would last the sea voyage uh -huh. all the way to the Baltic ports. And this was what they made. And they use a dark malt like this that's been roasted like coffee beans. Think Valrona, think Calibo. Mm, wow, it really is Yeah, a dense beer. It's dense, but it has deep chocolate flavors, I think this coffee has, espresso. I think this has to be nursed over a over fine an, uh, dessert. <laughs> in fact, here we have some chocolate cookies. Oh. And I haven't had one yet, but I'm getting a little bit hungry, so. Hmm. So you ch chocolate cookies and beer. Well, that's an interesting combination. Not one that you would usually think of, but this is great information, Garrett. Brewmasters and, uh, think of everything with beer. Thank you very much, and good luck with your book. Thank you.